Oh, Megan, we're just heading out again. Oh, no problem. I was just wondering what this is. Oh no, what is that? It looks like a stone of some kind. It was in one of your boxes. Do you mind if I keep it? Oh no, by all means you can have it. We're already late, so we'll see you later, Megan. So you're telling me that Mario took all of your pension money. How did he do that? I told you. He just went upstairs and he took it. Well, what was your pension money doing upstairs? She doesn't like banks. She doesn't trust them. All they want is your money. And so apparently did Mario. Can you help your mom? Can you help us? What can I do? Well, you could help us find Mario. Where Mario is, that's where my money is. Mom, I could kill him for doing this to you. I can't get my mind off Kevin. I'm in shock, Mike. I guess he wasn't kidding about owing all that money to that mobster. If I'd only shown up earlier, I could have given him the money from my mother to clear his debt. I know, I know. You know, we don't have to go to that meeting with Andy and Mr. Hunter if you're not up to it. I know, but maybe I'll get my mind off of things and hopefully to think of something more positive. I don't know how Andy got Yolanda's daughter Heidi interested. I'm surprised you even want to meet up with the Hunters after what Yolanda did to you. I'll tell you right now, if Yolanda has anything to do with this, I won't be involved. Well, I'm off to work. Very well. Did you speak to Heidi this morning? Of course not. She's not speaking to me. I tell you, Carlton, she better understand who's calling the shots in this house. Yolanda, she's a grown woman. She can make her own decisions. So why does she always need her daddy's approval? Why does she always need you in everything that she does? That bothers you, doesn't it? The fact that she's closer to me than you. Ha! Huh. Closer to you? She's got her daddy wrapped around her little finger. You have a nice day at the office, dear. at the country coffee shop in Hayden. You've got a lot of explaining to do. I'm pretty sure he said John Street. Here, Mike, use my phone and call Andy. Hey, Andy, this is Mike. Uh, when you get this, give, give Tammy a call. I, I think we have the wrong address. Hmm, why don't I pull into one of these homes to see if the Hunter family lives in this area? No, it just can't hurt. Clive! What on earth are you doing? Well, I have to look the part, don't I? Clive. You've been my brother for centuries, but I've never seen you look so, um, uh, human. <laughs> well, I figure if we're going to be living here for a while, we might as well be like everyone else. As a matter of fact, mm -hmm. I have an interview today. So, you're going to go get a job. That's a very good plan, little brother. But I think I'll start my search for the black stone. Do you think Carrie Ann would help me? She's still sleeping. Do you want me to wake her? No. It'll give us a chance to talk about your pretty little girl, pal. Luigi! Luigi! Oh, 
He went out. Stop yelling. Well, where'd he go? I don't know. Do I look like his mother? Very funny, Claire. What's wrong with you? Why are you so grumpy? I'm not grumpy. I'm just not feeling that well. Claire, we, we don't have time to be sick. We've got to figure out what to do. We're almost entirely out of money. Don't look at me. I don't have any. We're going to have to get jobs. Claire, we could be like Laverne and Shirley. Laverne and who? What are you talking about? We're not going to get jobs. With Luigi in the picture, he could probably help us. Hello. Sorry to bother you, but would you happen to know if the Hunter family lives on this street? Wait a minute. Aren't you that lady from TV? Oh yes, I used to have a show. Actually, we might be doing it again. Claire, Claire, come and see who's here. It better be Mario. You. It's you? You know Claire. You bitch. Get over what? You, the police chief. Don't worry. I won't tell anybody you're the big bad mob guy. I'll have you know I can get a lot of work done in this position. Last week alone, I brought in over a million dollars in cocaine. Big business. I like it. Hi, gentlemen. What can I get you? I'll just have coffee. A big man like you, all you want is coffee? I got pie. I made it fresh today. Just call me. I happen to mention I got apple pie. I got raisin pie and I got blueberry pie. Just coffee, please, and then you can leave. How about some coconut cream pie? Or we got some lemon pie? Yeah. You know what? I'm out of lemon pie. No, just coffee is fine, thank you. Hey, okay, but uh, you know what? When you guys get hungry, don't blame me. You picked this place, not me. lets me know just how much you've screwed up, Louie. I'm on a lot of cash, and we've got a dead body that ain't dead yet. What do you mean? I shot him right in the heart. He's got to be dead. If he pulls through and is able to identify you, you have serious trouble. You shot him once, and he had a phone in his pocket where you shot him. Dead. We need to erase any trace of this. If you're going to have to kill him again. What am I supposed to do? Go to the hospital and kill him there? You're the hit man. You figure it out. And then you got a problem getting that money back to me. Okay, now I know you're nuts. You want me to kill him and get the 750 grand? Well, sis, there's nothing to talk about. Little brother, first you're hot to trot over Shailen, and then it turns out she's your own daughter? God, at least you guys didn't... Of course not. How was I supposed to know Shailen was mine? Yami kept that from me my entire life. Yeah, and Shailen paid the price for that. Listen, you better start listening to me, okay? I have warned you for years about that little witch, Yami. Carrie Ann, my dear. Clive, what the? <laughs> it's your boyfriend's new look. You like? I, I don't know. Why are you dressed like that? Well, I've decided to fit into the community. And there's no better way than finding a job. A job? What can you do? Hey, you can't come here and assault my daughter-in-law. Your daughter-in-law almost killed my best friend. You're the one who wanted my husband. <laughs> Did she want it, Mario? <laughs> I did not want your husband. Nor did I want to marry him. He drugged me somehow. What's happening? Tammy, are you okay? Well, well. What do we have here? Oh, hi. I'm Mike. Mike Caruso. Ooh. 
Don't mind if I do. <laughs> Excuse me, how did you get in here? Are, are you the owner? Are you Yolanda Hunter? Yes, and you are? I'm the person that you're gonna hire. Oh, you must be here for the media position. <laughs> I could do wonders in the media. Well, what kind of experience do you have? Do you have a resume? Are you sure you're the man for the job? I like to stir things up and, you know, get under people's skin. I would be perfect for the local media. And you know something else? I'm used to always getting my way. So, you like getting your own way. Next, on Tammy. What about that job? From what I hear, they work together. Maybe I should visit our little TV star. Hello, city police? She didn't say it, but it sounded like she's up to no good. <laughs> 